Hi again, uh, this is uh, another video to explain you what will be uh, or what has been the voting system for this contest. Well, the goal of this uh, voting system is to be uh, as much fair as we can with all the participants. And for this, we have created a voting system that is not only based on uh, technical skills and technical execution, instead of is taking into account many other factors that should be important in order to appreciate any art form, you know. Uh, we, have we have decided uh, several factors to judge, which I'm not saying that they has to be the ones, but definitely they are, um, you know, um, things to, to take into account, uh, obviously. And for this, uh, I create a, uh, an Excel so all the judges could vote by their own, you know, uh, doing, a, you know, uh, seeing, observing all the pieces, and this is, uh, this is the system that we have created. So, uh, this is the system, this is the basic system, which is a, is a rating system, which has in one side the number of the participant, every contestant, every participant has, a num uh, has been given a number, right, in order of uh, in, 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 in temporal order of uh, entering the, the piece, right? And it will be judged in different ways, you know, from the technical ex execution, which means basically how do you use the different techniques that you can use for painting or sculpting or whatever, you know, uh, to present your piece. So how well executed is your piece from a technical perspective? Then the creativity or idea, which uh, is something that we have to value because most of the times we find people that maybe they are beginners or maybe they are not so advanced uh, from a technical perspective, but that they have great, great ideas and that's something also that we have to take into account. And this is something that I have observed uh, during many times that I have been judging, especially in Montes and Sabino, where the standard category is always very impressive and full of originality, creativity and fantastic ideas. And maybe due to a lack of execution, those guys are not highlighted enough but in this case, I want to highlight also the creativity because the creativity is the main goal of this contest. Then, and this is some, something that uh, it's um, uh, a tribute to what I teach, that is the color choice and use of the color, which uh, however many people understand this uh, from a technical perspective, the color choice or use of the color is not something uh, that can be judged only from a technical perspective. It, ha it has to be judged from many other uh, you know, from any other uh, ways of, of, of perceiving the piece, you know, it's like how well the colors has been applied to overcome the, the challenge, you know, to, to represent the, the, the figure that you want to, to show, basically. Uh, sometimes we find many uh, figures that are technically impressive, but the color choice is boring, the color choice doesn't offer anything. So this is a way to uh, somehow to rate, to award, the best color choice and also the risk using the color. Uh, the same as many other times you can find fantastic uh, artworks full of uh, or, or with great uh, color combos with great color choices that maybe are not so uh, technically accurate but they have to be uh, also taken into account. Then we have the visual impact which is uh, you know it's a category for judging that I really like because sometimes we Sometimes we miss uh, the, the fact that something can be uh, very impacting at, at once and maybe then when we analyze something, uh, the feeling is not so impressive, but uh, ha have you ever gone to the cinema and after you watch the movie, you say, whoa, I feel, you know, I'm in shock or, well, I feel so happy or so depressed or I have laughed so much or, or the uh, visual effects were amazing. We have also to take this into account because that's, that's the first love, you know, that's the first impact and this is what makes you feel in love with something. However, maybe then when you uh, get closer, maybe the, the figure has some errors or some uh, other technical ways to, to do it better or maybe the presentation was not the best, but the visual impact is always very important. And if not, you can remember how you met uh, maybe your, your couple uh, before you knew uh, her or him. Uh, that the first visual impact sometimes is very important and well, 
I don't think it's anything wrong to admit this. To admit this. Then we have the narrativity, right? And the narrativity is also very important because the narrativity is connected with the goals of the contest. The contest, uh, in the contest basis, the contest rules. Uh, it was said that you have to send, you have to send uh, an, a, a story, right? And then the, the, it's not that we are going to value the story because we are not writers. We are not expert, uh, experts on script writing, but the character should represent well the story or the description that was sent by the artist or by the participant, right? And then we have another category, which is the, the sculpture, you know, uh, but this uh, will be only applied in the cre uh, creation uh, category, which is something obvious because the painting category uh, doesn't need to be uh, sculpted or modified in any way, right? So, as I have said, this was only applied to the creation category. And then we have the overall rating. The overall rating is just a way to place them in order, right? But then, which is uh, is just a guidance somehow. But then we have uh, the painting category and then we have the creation category. So they have obviously split it. They have been divided into and the results has been created by a, ma a mathematical sum, um, which is the most fair way to do it. And the judging system has been done from zero to 10, which is another important um, change from the typical way of judging uh, of the 99% of the contests in the world, that most of them are, from, are a, judge, uh, a judging system from zero to five. What happens with zero to five? that nowadays in 2019, zero to five is a very short range of decision, right? Because there are pieces that are almost five and when you compare between each other, how you can compare a piece of five with another piece of five when you think that both deserve a goal? So how can you know which is a better goal than the other? Well, amplifying the rating system from zero to five to 10 to five uh, to uh, zero to ten, excuse me, uh, give us a much better uh, result that can be compared, right? Because it's not only zero to ten. Instead of this zero to ten, ha has been applied to five different categories, as I have said, that are the technical execution, creativity, color choice, visual impact, and storytelling or nar narrativity. So it means that. Let's say the perfect score will be 10 plus uh, 10 multiplied uh, per uh, five. Okay, and this will be the the best score. So the winners of each category has been created uh, with this uh, mathematical system, and then there will be a best of show. You know, so there is a best uh, the best of category one, uh, first, second, and the third one for painting category and creation category, and then it will be a best of show that this has been judged separately. You know, we have taken the best five of each category, and this one has competed for the best of show. And this best of show have, has been decided by the judges uh, with, uh, you know, uh, with, without a mathematical comparison, you know, now saying, which is, this is more similar to uh, any other contest, like for example, Monte San Sabino, where you place all the, the eligible uh, figures that, that can obtain, that can run up for the, for the best of show, and then, and then the judges decide. So the main difference with this is that first, we are being very open, you know, uh, we want to show you how we have judged, and then uh, maybe if uh, an organizer of a contest is seeing this, maybe you can take into account that nowadays with the high quality of the of the works and more than high or low quality you know with the real stretch differences between one piece and the other it's mandatory it's necessary to start changing the voting systems because nowadays unfortunately uh, judging something so complex like to say something a combination from uh, Mar Masclan is one of the great painters in the world and Joaquin Palacios, one of, one of the great sculptors in the world with uh, compa comparing this with a piece from Amon Richero who is not a full professional in any of both uh, ways but his pieces are super original and fantastic you cannot compare them only from 0 to 5 because then at the end 
the technical aspect will always uh, win without doubts, you know, and this is a problem. Because maybe both pieces are fantastic and maybe both pieces are the same level or maybe the piece that is not so technically accurate could be even better and more impacting and more impressive than the other one that is a combination of two uh, top, top world professionals, right? So to uh, resolve this problem, you know, we cannot judge things, especially in an open system, you know, in an open category where the pieces are very varied, you can, uh, there, uh, there are things that you cannot compare. Sometimes we are comparing styles and we are judging one style better than the other just because the judge mm, likes more this style than the other. And in a fair judging system, the style and the personal taste of the judge should never be uh, the difference between one rate and the other. So that's the reason why we are trying to do this uh, in a more um, controlled way, you know, with many factors to judge. So at the end, the final result doesn't depend on the personal taste of the judge so much you know, instead of the combination of different uh, categories to judge and the punctuation, the, the punctuation of the, the rating of, the different, uh, of those different categories. And this gives you uh, uh, ma a mathematical, uh, this gives you a number, right? And this is a way to uh, separate who are the eligible uh, pieces for winning, you know? And that's how the three best of each category had, uh, had been uh, selected somehow and then the best of show will be different it will be also uh, a prize for the uh, public opinion for the, the opinion of the of the viewers because we think that it's very important that you as hobbyists you as people who are following this uh, contest and that are supporting this contest you also have to give us your feedback so I will explain you how to give this feedback and how to uh, both for your favorite ones but this will be in a few days so thank you for watching again this time is a little bit shorter 12 minutes uh, I hope this has been clear excuse me for my English because you know it's hard for me to think in numbers you know and even more if I'm speaking in English so I hope it's clear enough uh, and, and well that, that was the voting system cheers bye bye